much. Well, the costly and contentious plan for a mental health wing at the New Orleans jail is getting major pushback from Sheriff Susan Hudson. As eyewitness investigator Mike Prolstein revealed last night, the controversial circular design for the addition has largely been discredited by prison experts and abandoned across the country. But now under a federal court order, that design is the current plan for the Orleans Justice Center. Tonight, Mike looks at what the sheriff is pushing as an alternative. Press Kabakoff knows a thing or two about buildings. One of the city's most prominent developers, his company has built major projects around the country, including River Garden and the Blue Plate Artist Lofts in New Orleans. But lately, wearing his civic activist hat, he's been trying to prevent the construction of a building, the court-ordered Phase 3 addition to house mentally ill inmates at the city's jail. We have to be smart about this, and this is not smart. Kabakoff joined Sheriff Susan Hudson's opposition to Phase 3 when she made it one of her key campaign platforms in her upset election victory over previous Sheriff Marlon Gussman. Among his misgivings is the so-called panopticon design, in which inmate cells are configured in a circle around a central command center. Jail experts say the panopticon robs inmates of dignity and increases anxiety by putting their distress on display for everyone else to see. It's designed by a circular panopticon. There's not been one of those built in the country in 20 years, they're all closed. The last Panopticon prison in the country at Stateville Prison in Illinois was closed in 2016 after years of opposition. Jenny Volan Katz, a prison reform expert, led the fight. To think that there is another jurisdiction considering building it new um, is just shocking. Yet under the 10-year-old federal consent decree to improve conditions at the Orleans Parish Jail, the court has ordered the Panopticon version of Phase 3 to be built. Medieval, uh, total disregard for human dignity. In this six-page letter, Hudson objected to the design as, quote, inhumane and dangerous. She also points out that the price tag has ballooned from an original $40 million estimate to now about $115 million. Hudson says that would come to about $5 million per cell for 56 new prison cells. And if I were to go into a bank and say, I want to build a hotel or an apartment and I want to spend above $2 million a room, they would throw me out of the office. And so there's something wrong here. As an alternate plan, Hudson is advocating for an expansion of the jail's existing mental health wing by renovating two vacant buildings using the same design. She estimates the plan would cost about $10 million. Here, uh, we have to do something better. And I just cannot emphasize that enough. Last week, we accompanied the sheriff as she gave a lobbying tour to advocate for her idea. Councilman Oliver Thomas was there, and now he's aligned with Hudson. Why are we in New Orleans doing a design that prison experts all around the world have said, first of all, should have been outlawed, shouldn't be used, is not the best design, and at a cost of 80 or $90 million more. Despite reservations by Hudson and other city leaders, the $115 million Panopticon is currently the design being ordered by U.S. District Judge Lance Afric. What's the plan for your next steps? We're going to continue to fight the legal battle. We're going to move forward with the briefings and all that. Um, and I do have access to the courts. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. The federal magistrate and the consent decree ordered all sides in the case to submit their final briefs and the phase three dispute by next Thursday.